Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the show must go on. Please give a warm welcome to Charlie Wright. As we go into our third C-class bout of the evening, the stare down's intense. Omar Mizra looks like he could scare anybody. Seems to be a quite a substantial size difference in terms of muscular frame, but a really fast start. As Omar comes out swinging, and Charlie looks to get him into clinch. Nice low kick by Omar, doubled up. Lovely right hand there by Charlie Rice as he rocks Omar and puts the pressure on. Good quick recovery by Omar Rice as he continues the body kick on the back foot. Good lock into clinch now, both lads. Charlie's got his hands down in clinch, not a good sign. Took three or four knees to the stomach now. I wonder if our referee Sean Bowling, it's five, possibly six knees, seven knees now clean to the stomach, his hands are down. Sean Bowling's going to step in and that's the first stand and eight count of round one. Yeah, you Charlie can... Rice putting his hands down in clinch there, Dave. I yeah. know you're not a fan of that. He took seven or eight knees on the bounce there. Sean had every right to step in. Yeah, Omar doing exactly the right thing in the clinch there, just powering in with the knees did a bit of sparring with Omar there a few weeks back in preparation for this looks like he's coming on nicely well Charlie hit Omar with a straight right down the middle halfway through that halfway through that round don't know if we'll catch it on the replay now perhaps but the straight right rocked him and he almost capitalized on it and then he got caught and fell into clinch and he couldn't get out of the lock Here we go in the replay now. That was a bit of clinch from earlier on where they were both swinging. I think this is the right hand coming up now. And there it rocked go. him there. After, after that, he tried to put the pressure on. But when they went back into clinch, Omar just completely dominated up until the stand and eight count. I think Charlie's going to have to use his straight hands down the middle, use that height advantage and yeah. his push kick. I was going to say he's got a fair bit of height on his man there. Oh, He just missed with a head kick Yeah, there. that's what I was thinking. Red corner needs to keep his hands tight. See, he needs to get that right arm over the top and into the, into the, to the lock of the elbow to pull him in. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Red corner just dominating the clinch there. Referee telling the man in blue, just keep your head up. Omar there just gained good position, pushed with the forearms, pushed his hips back, and got a great knee in there. And there he goes to take the fight. Another early night's work for Omar Misra as he stops Charlie Rice with about 30 seconds in. 
to the second round. He took a similar stand and eight count in the first round, which that you've seen. And uh, I think if you were Omar's corner, you'd be telling him to clinch after after the first stand and eight. Yeah, hundred percent. Much stronger in the clinch. He looked physically stronger though as well. Even though Charlie had the height, he looked physically stronger. Yeah, Omar was a tough, tough lad. Your winner from the red corner, Omar!